Meanwhile, some good news locally tonight. Pier 60 on Clearwater Beach is back open. The storm yesterday did cause strong surf, forcing the pier to close, but it is back open tonight. But there are some safety concerns that still remain. Yeah, officials are now warning about the rip currents and erosion on Clearwater Beach right now. ABC Action News reporter Ryan Smith with Hurricane Michael's local impacts. A picture perfect day at America's favorite beach. This is the day Jimmy Rogers of New England has been waiting for. As soon as we got here, we found out there was a hurricane. Hurricane Michael's far reach impacting Clearwater Beach. We're having a lot of seaweed. We're having a lot of debris wash up. Water safety supervisor Patrick Bradford takes us along the shoreline. The sand up here, the beach is really saturated right now. Water still got, you know, a lot of discoloration. Lifeguards raising the yellow flag today, urging people to use caution in the water. Broken pilings, broken dock pieces. The storm kicking up rough, potentially dangerous surf and some red tide. When I stepped on the beach, it was almost like uh, I took a breath of uh, ammonia. I started to cough a little bit. It's, it certainly does. You do detect it, but it's nothing that uh, it would stop me from walking up and down the beach. And tonight, lifeguards also reporting to me some minor beach erosions. They tell me it's nothing extreme, but that rough surf and rainfall yesterday and into today, certainly stripping away some of the sand at this well-known popular beach. Live tonight in Clearwater Beach, Ryan Smith, ABC Action News. All right, Ryan.